What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk? We in the building. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. Wanted to talk about the offensive line a little bit. And I believe it's a good possibility, a strong possibility, if Rick Wagner struggles this season somewhat like he did towards the middle to the end of the season last year, I believe that Terrell Crosby is going to get a spin. And I believe if, if Rick Wagner gets injured and Crosby gets in there, I don't think Crosby is going to get that starting right tackle position up. Now, Crosby is a guy – they can play any position across the line. He played every position at the uh, Oregon, I believe, either center, left tackle, right tackle, both guards position as well. And I'm hearing he doing very, very well in camp. And they were surprised that he was still there, I think, the sixth round or the fifth round when they picked him. So they feel like they got a steal. And uh, by all me- by all indications, they did. You know, he's doing really, really well in camp from what I'm hearing. And we know Rick Wagner, they paid him good money to come in last year. And I don't think all the struggles with Rick Wagner fought. Because I think Greg Robinson and Travis Swanson and um, you know they they uh they uh bad play kind of uh, really really affected the line and also T.J. Lang not being healthy. See, the line is moves in unison. They got to be on the same accord, and you can't always be compensating every play for Robinson. You know, Swanson wasn't able to get no push. We could run up the middle between the guards, and that's the most effective way to run north and south. You know, and Greg Robinson needed a chip. He needed a tight end. He needed all types of help at left tackle. And when Taylor Decker got back, he still wasn't healthy, and they hadn't formed that rapport because he was out with a shoulder injury that that uh, whole off season. And also, T.J. Lang was struggling with injury. So I think it eventually it wore it wore, it, it wore down uh, Rick Wagner mentally and physically because he was dealing with a lot on that side. You know, Robinson was getting all the help, and Lang wasn't helping him, and then. Swanson wasn't helping Lang, and, you know, he he ended up getting blew back, man. You know, he gave up a lot of sacks. He played very, very poor last year, and I think that was a, a fa- that was a product of the line just having three weak links. Lang being injured, Swanson, which is never a starting caliber center, and Greg Robinson at left tackle, you know what I'm saying? I think that war on Wagner, but I think if, if Crosby comes in and does well or somewhat Rick Wagner gets injured or the play doesn't pick up or he just, you know, he doesn't, you know, he's shaky or whatever. Crosby going to get in there, and they're going to end up cutting uh, Wagner at some point. You know, probably next offseason, depending on what money he's owed. Because if Crosby steps in there and he really balls out, I don't think he's going to get that position back to Wig Wagner. You got a cheap six-round rookie compared to a big-money, pricey right tackle free agent. So, um, it depends. He's looking good right now, uh, Crosby. Um, but Wig Wagner being healthy and Lane being healthy, he might not get that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to start, but I'm just, you know, putting this on alert, putting guys on alert that if, if Crosby get a spin, this is my opinion right here, um, at right tackle or shoot right guard as well, too. You know, Lang, if Lang don't play up the part neither and, and Crosby get that spot, man, you can see them veteran guys get up out of there, man. One of them, two, if not both of them, you know, it's going to be a youth movement because you got Decker that's young, uh, Bob Quinn, uh, drafted. You got Graham Glasgow, I think Mark Mayhew drafted out of Michigan. He young. You got Frank Rag now, who's taking some reps at center as well. Young, the whole, the whole right side of the line, left side of the line is is young. The right side of the line is older with Lang and Wagner. And you get Crosby in there. It was no mistake that they drafted Crosby. As as far as Corey Robinson, Crosby, and the kid from uh, uh, L.A. Chargers, I'm, I'm I'm creaming that right there. I'm tired of saying San Diego. As far as that kid Wiggins or whatever his name is. Um, they got depth in the offensive line. They made sure they did that this season. But, I mean, eventually it's going to be a youth movement on the right side. You know what I'm saying? And Crosby is probably going to be the beginning of that. I'm not saying that I think Rick Wagner is going to play poor this year because I told you guys there's a number of reasons why or, you know, why he could have played poor last season. You know what I'm trying to tell you, man? That that line has to be in unison. you got to give all your attention to uh, left tackle, and then you can't run the ball because your center can't get no push. He always getting blue back in Matthew Stafford's lap. He wasn't a run blocking center. That's a that's a problem right there. And then your then your 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 uh right guard is often injured and getting beat up. So that's the reason why Wagner could have played bad. I think Wagner played good this season, then he's gonna be okay. They're gonna continue just to develop Crosby. He's gonna be a depth guy. He's cheaper. They keep Wagner long. But if Lang or Wagner plays for this season, be on the lookout for Crosby to be inserted. And I think when he get his spin, he got a chip on the shoulder because he went so late in the draft. He was a very, very accomplished Pac-12 Oregon Duck offensive lineman. I don't think he's going to get that spot back, dog. I know a lot of people might not like that, but 
I think I think he gonna get in there and do some work. So you know maybe that's putting you know putting pressure on on Wagner to do his job and Lane to do his job. But you know Crosby hungry man. He's very very hungry. He got chip on the shoulder. He was mad he went late. But I think Wagner is going to do well this year. And if and no, Lang don't, Lang is out of here. I'll tell you that right now. If Lang and Wagner, matter of fact, Lang and Wagner, if they both not healthy, but they both, you know, don't hold on that side of the line, they can't get that push on the run side of the line, which is the right side, is what most teams like to run run towards. If they can't get that push on that side of the line, you know, be on the lookout, man, for, for Crosby to be inserted in one of those spots, man. But I think they'll be good this year, man. I think I'm going to keep positive vibes. I think they're going to be really good. Uh, I think we're going to run the ball. You know, I heard Kerryon Johnson is doing well. Um, LeGarrette Blunt just had some cramps for what I heard. So, yeah, you know, but I'm just telling you, be on the lookout for Crosby, and I'm going to do another video um, a little bit later, uh, spotlighting another battle in camp that I, I warned you guys about that's starting to heat up, and uh, they're splitting reps. So some good battles going on. Uh, the cornerback position is another good battle going on as well. Uh, we'll talk about that probably a little bit later into to camp because Marvin Jones is just baptizing everybody out there. He looks like he's on another level working with Randy Moss and doing real. But don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All those links and usernames are in the description. Continue to subscribe, share, hit the bell icon. Won't miss another Motor City Sports Talk video. Appreciate it. We gone.